Alright, so we are on our trip. And we have the Midwest Survivor. Yeah, that was cool. Man, going back to a bigger city. We're just leaving uh, Chicago. I don't know if anybody knows about that place, but what do you think freedom wise, considering uh show everybody this afterwards but I got my TBI and a new little case I'll talk about that another time we got a hatchet we got a tomahawk we got you know a bug out bag in the back helping a buddy out running over to Chicago and what about that haze what about what about the freedom the freedom compared to where we are now that's starting to disappear yeah. in the traffic we feel shit. like we're starting to be in a communist state but fuck yeah, this is a trap. The is like the same compared to this shit. Yeah, uh, we just went to O'Hare, uh, the airport, and that's uh, always fun. We're still trying to get out of here. Uh, took a wrong turn, went downtown. That was fun on the way back. We could get something to eat anyways, but the traffic has been, you know, pretty fun. At least we're actually moving right now. We're going about 40. We got stuck going ridiculously slow, but uh, yeah, it's like a mini New York for me. I didn't like the whole situation. I haven't been here in three years or something like that. Uh, I don't know. Freedom. What about the freedom? Tell us about the freedom real quick. There is something. There is nothing. <laughs> oh man. Oh, here's a messed up spot to begin with. I remember being back in New York with JFK and LaGuardia Airport. Look at this. A dump truck. A dump truck just caught me off. God, you shit me. But, uh, yeah, I give you a quick taste of what Michigan is going to start to turn into another communist state. A lot, of, a lot more people here than where we are over in Michigan. But, uh, yeah, it's what pick us me back up. Somewhere here I got a turn by lost again but there we go. it's a whole different thing when you're amongst five plus million look at another dump truck cut me off he's pretty and there goes that Audi look at oh whip right past me my vehicle is gutless with the AC on but yeah we just got out of the city I don't know if you probably won't be able to see nothing on the back but uh Going places without having stuff. All right, you dick bag. Another one just rolled up. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna have out here. Swear. But you know, we got a pack with us. We got enough stuff that the walk would take us uh, a few a months or something yeah. <laughs> to get back home. Uh, trying to steal a boat from somebody and go across Lake Michigan. Yeah, probably. Probably right. Uh. Yeah, but having stuff with you, always good to have. Uh, even if it's not the best stuff or tools for the situation. You still got to stay prepped. still got to keep your stuff on you. You need something on you. Especially when you're going away from home. If it's a few hours or something like that, you got to be you gotta be a little extra prepared. So, any last words? We should switch to nuclear power. <laughs> okay. The pollution is so bad. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Never really noticed the haze like that. And I never really noticed the clear skies until I went to Michigan. It was so blue and clear sky, there's no haze like there was in the city, but yeah. It would be the Jetsons up in this motherfucker. <laughs> That's a freaking place. I gotta cut somebody out sooner or later here again with these things. So we will, uh, I don't know, talk again soon. And, uh, yeah, stay ready, stay prepared, stay strapped. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to get clapped, but you can't do that in Chicago. That's the problem. That's the problem. So don't come to places that don't accept. I mean, this was kind of a little emergency that we helping a buddy out, so uh, whatever, I guess. Yeah. All right. Have a good day.